Okay, let's get in made in the floss. So if you saw my news video previously, you'll have seen I've built myself a ultralight floss. It's coming in at 430 grams with a 1300 tattoo R-line battery. I probably could have gone with a 1000 milliamp 4S. I've done that before on these light models, but I'm not too fussed. I just want to have a good fly. It's windy here today, as you can see. The mat's lifting up here. So I've got the GoPro mount on there, but I think I'm going to have to come up with two sets of PIDs, one for the GoPro and one without. Another thing that I've had to do is switch the two position switch on the X10S. So I use this two position switch here as the arming and it was here and I kept bashing this one so I moved it across there. Very easy to do, just take the back off. Anyways, let's see what it's like. I'm starting off in angle mode and I always do the Maiden's line of sight. Oh man, it's proper windy here. I do the Maiden's line of sight just to make sure there's no issues or anything. I always start in angle mode the first time to make sure everything's okay. Plenty of punch there, as expected. Okay, everything seems all right. Into Acro. Oh yeah, they've got some power all right. And it feels light and nimble, which is what I was hoping for. Man, it's probably a bit too windy for it today, mind. The motors are echoing around. I think this might be, might be, I'll have to check, the highest KV motor I put on a copter. I'll have to check that. <laughs> this is awesome. The tune doesn't feel bad, but you can't really judge it line of sight, really. I'll have to do some proper tuning with it, but this is just to make sure that it flies okay. You know, it only took me two hours to build this. Oh, my mat's flowing away. <laughs> Need to go and stand on it. Yeah, it's proper windy here today. Stay down, mat. The mat does have little tags on it to hold it down so you can put pegs to it. I should have brought that out. I don't know, you know, I think a 6S model might beat it, but I don't know what more I could do. Probably higher pitch props, actually. These are fairly low pitch for freestyle. We'll have to see. Looks can be deceiving. I've got a radar gun that can tell me the different speeds. It'd be interesting to see what this one reads compared to something like a 6S model. But so far so good. I love these floss models. They don't quite have the inertia though of a heavier model. but they stop really quick and I think that makes it seem like they're not that fast. But I bet it's still fairly quick. They say that it can break 100 mile an hour on the website. So that would be interesting to see if it does that, wouldn't it? I love doing these loops. Nice big loops.
fairly quiet, surprising. Oh man, I hate this wind. I hate this weather. Uh, I want to land on the map, but the wind's going to blow it away. What a dilemma. <laughs> One last punch out, eh? Very nice. Okay. I'm gonna step off the mat quickly. 